Hello, welcome to the Young Founders Voices. This is Aline Owasekanumba. And the Young Founders Voices, it's a place for us young entrepreneurs. I hope in this last week you have had great experience with your businesses, regardless of the changes which has been happening. We have heard that some of the schools in Kigali had stopped because of the COVID, which means that some of us young entrepreneurs who have like schools or something related to education, we might be having some challenges. But I also believe that this is the time to think creative on how to, to address and approach some of those challenges. And that's why we are here on the Young Founders Voices, where we break down the challenges we have. We also try to share our creativity. We try to share our journey so that we learn from each other. Today, I'm not alone. Today, we have a guest. She's a young entrepreneur, a woman. She's just only 18 years old. And within her 18 years old, she's doing amazing. She's a student in LEU and she's an entrepreneur in fashion industry. We're going to hear so much more from her and more we're going to learn about her journey, how she's been handling uh, businesses, business and school. And at the same time, how, what are the plans and how is she addressing the challenges that she has been facing as well in this COVID. Today's guest is is none other than Giselle Hirwa. Giselle Hirwa, welcome to the studio. Thank you. And for welcome to me. the Young Founders Voices. Please start by telling us about you, about our, about your journey, and also tell us more so that we can learn from you and what has inspired you to start this moment, to start doing business and this, and at the same time start your education. You know, like how do you handle that? Yeah, thank you for having me firstly. Um, my name is Giselle Hidgo, as she said, I'm 18 years old, I'm uh, doing my bachelor's degree in African Leadership University, uh, International Business Trade is the faculty. So I'm also a CEO and founder of Isaro Fashion. So um, this journey is not smooth, you know, this journey of business, yeah, it's not smooth. Sometimes we kind of meet with the challenges and you're supposed to uh, face it yeah. and at the time there is some things we like um, enjoy doing yeah, yeah. but personally uh, I have started this journey around um, 11 2019 after completing my secondary studies Wow um, so that's, that's at a very very <laughs> young age anyway I'm Let's really see. excited we are all very excited we are more from you more from your journey to really get into the details to see what we can also learn from you and uh, without further ado let's have a short break uh, like a music break then we come back on our businesses with her business and also you can take a look into yours so that we also see together what you can learn from her after this short music Cause I mean no offense 
and my hands will never learn to hold you down. So carry on. After this uh, short music, let's go back with Giselle. And today we are going to try to understand how being a student in the LEU and being an entrepreneur is helping you in your, in your journey, in your entrepreneurship journey. Because we believe in business, you need leadership skills to support you in your decision making, to support you along the way. There are different skills that we need. Maybe that's why you are doing LEU and at the same time doing business. So how are you doing that? Yeah, thank you. Uh, being a student in African Leadership University and studying your own business is something connected. And it's also helpful for me to be an African Leadership University scholar. Because as you know, I don't know if you have heard me much things about ALU, but African Leadership University do train entrepreneur leaders yeah. and I'm a young entrepreneur. So yeah, I have interacted connected. with some of the graduates in master degrees and mm. they are like leaders in the business. Yeah. I don't know if you have heard like the CEO of DMM hey, hey. She has been like a graduate. She graduated yeah. there. There, yeah. are, there are so many people who are doing great here in Rwanda yeah. on the market who are graduated there. Yeah. So uh, it's a good thing and uh, i think it's helpful yeah it's helpful because sometimes uh back to like business back to real business mm. i i got to like um anyway i'm studying i'm in my leadership core uh, after taking leadership core i'll be doing international business and trade so but i believe that i am uh, in a place of uh, acquiring important skills that will help me in my journey Okay, that, that sounds amazing because in my experience as a business person, uh, well, I haven't had the opportunity to go in Nelly or maybe mm. like a specific business school, mm. but there are like the point, uh, there are point where I am, then I feel like, oh, uh, maybe being at school that would have helped me in a way mm. so that I figure out, so that mm. I handle the situation better. Mm. So I guess that's really amazing. Yeah, because you, 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 you got uh, like an opportunity to like share ideas with your fellow colleagues there at ILU. So you got like, uh, um, different help from yeah. them so it's really amazing and how does that help you to discipline yourself because business goes with discipline and yeah. now you are multitasking school and yeah. business so how do you discipline that uh, um, also from the skill you get from LU and at the same time as a business person nothing other than time management <laughs> wow time management you yeah. guys you have had time management it's a very crucial topic so tell us how did you end up in business you know at very early age you know mm. like uh, and how did you mm. manage to decide to connect mm. uh, your education with the business mm. you're doing mm. and how how can you be so good in managing the time that at your 18 mm. you're already like combining both mm. and you are so confident and Mm. doing good yeah thank you um but time uh, i grown up with the dream of being a pilot guard 
yeah wow. i was like uh, I'll, I'll, I was like, I would go for aeronautical science, aeroplane engineering, you know, yeah. something like that, something related to uh, piloting, uh, things like that. But because of the part of um, globe that we are located in, you know, that we Africans, it's not easy to like. Yeah, the opportunities, yeah, yeah, the, the opportunities, access, yeah, and, and sometimes yeah. being young, being woman, yeah. having guidance from yeah. home. Yeah. yeah, something like that. So when I was in my senior five or level 11, uh, I was like, I just need a backup plan because the thing is tough, <laughs> something like that. So, um, like, fashion was not my dreams, but was my fun fact. Okay. You know, I know that you are getting a point. Like, so um, I was like, I just need a backup plan. So I started thinking about uh, something I can do. Uh, I was like, I just want to be a boss lady. Yeah, I just want That's to be a That's a huge difference woman. from like being a pilot to do fashion. Yeah, I guess yeah. maybe it has something to do with yeah. being the best. You yeah. know, like the pilot are the best, yeah. you know, that keep inspires you to be so good maybe in fashion, yeah. in fashion events, yeah. because that's what Isaru does. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, um, I just want to be a, an international woman who do like magic thing, something like that. So I decided to start my own business after completing my secondary studies. Yeah. But you know, I was so scared. Uh, I was so scared. I was like, I don't have much experience. I don't have like um, skills, but I got an opportunity to be a part of ESP, Entrepreneur Support Partners, second okay. cohort. It's a program that support um, youth who have like different yeah projects. so is the program so, based in rwanda is it yeah from rwanda? yeah it is based in rwanda okay yeah so it support uh youth that have like a different project so i i spent six months there mm -hmm. learning more about business okay so that's why i'm now confident and i really believe that the time holds like future holds better things yeah in the um, young founders voices we talk a lot about those programs um, how did you know about this particular program so uh my brother helped me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell that I just seek uh, information from That's already from my a own. good network. We <laughs> talk a lot about network. Yeah. In one of the previous talk we had, we was talking about creating network and yeah. how you can actually uh, like get investment through the networks you create. So having networks from the brothers, from like the friends, maybe go on LinkedIn, mm. which is one of the application we talk a lot mm. here. I think it's one of the best tools mm. that uh, as young entrepreneurs we can learn from. Yeah. So I can recommend now the program to you that will get an opportunity to understand these talks. Yeah, yeah it's it's a it's ESP Entrepreneur Support Partners. It's um, it's main it's mainly focused on uh, tourism and hospitality. Okay. Yeah, something like that. But it's really a helpful program. Okay. Yeah. And tell us a bit about your business and your journey, mm. like uh, as a student mm. and uh, at the same time as mm. a CEO and the founder of mm. Isaro Fashion. Yeah. You know, when you're studying a business, it's not easy. Yeah. You know, that you just have to like look on different things. You just have to um, get all works done. Sometimes you are the only one who, who is does in everything. charge of doing that thing. Yeah. So it's not yeah. really easy. But um, I just... I just uh, try to manage all time and I really believe in supporting team in a devising team yeah. so that because I'm young and maybe I don't have like sufficient experience but I do approach uh, different women who um, have heard studying their business before me so that I can learn from them. That's a good way to go you know like uh, learning from the others it's really something we talk a lot about here. Mm. So what is your next project you know especially in 2021 mm. in regards to the COVID-D mm. what is your next project? Thank you um, I'm planning to establish a big fashion store. Yeah. So wow. that's my next move. We're going to dress. I, like <laughs> I love dressing. I love fashion. Yeah, Look. you good at modeling. 
Yes, in fact, I had always loved fashion events. You yeah. know, when I was young, I would always sit in front of in front of the screen yes. watching the cutaways and the runways. Yes. I do that a lot. By the way, check my Instagram at Aline Kanimba. I post a lot about fashion. By the way, you're welcome to keep really updating girls about yeah. your clothing, your yeah. store. Yeah. That's really amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. my next love. Wow. Mm. So, and as you go, tell us about your role model. How, what inspires you? Like, and uh, what are the people who hold you together that mm. you learn from? Then it helps you to put yourself together and to keep going no matter the challenges you are facing. Thank you. Uh, I'm that kind of a person who like learning different things from different people. Yeah. So, but I can, uh, I do have many role models, but I can tell you Michelle Obama. She is, you know her? <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Wow. She is a wife of Barack Obama, former mm -hmm. president of US. Yeah. So I like her. I like her inspiring part. Yeah. I like the fact of her empowering two women. So Especially really young women. She her. has a lot going on, you know, like a lot yeah. of projects going on, yeah. inspiring, working for the sake of young girls. It's really amazing. And yeah. what do you learn from her? What push you from her first thing i just i just like um she advised youth to dare dream big mm -hmm. that's yeah. the first thing <laughs> i the, learned the from her not to be now the fashion <laughs> the fashion girl yeah. she got inspirations from yeah her. yeah Michelle dare Obama. to dream big yeah. that's the first lesson i've got from her yeah wow yeah. that's that's really amazing and anyway when we talk about dreaming big i like coming back on saying like don't just be a dreamer do something about yeah. your dreams yeah yeah so let's take a short break for advertisement then we are coming back talking with our guest coming on the technology that she might be using which are helping her during this covid with her business so that we see what we can also learn from that technology it's after the break Star Times. Enjoy digital life. Ahasi Murai, ni mumudu rukumbu zirio estate. Nga haba chene inyu wa kuzoku wa muba hanzi mitima. Chukubiri no guhurubu nza karago. No guaga ichishkwa nubu kodi. Mazi wijire mumudu rukumbu zirio estate. Weguri richumbi rijawe. Mazu vimvire. Aba gusuye bo subarati umudugudu urukumbuzi riyo estate uramenye nduseti ibirenge udasanga birinze sinamenye bazigucuze kandi ushirigishika kuko banga ukorana nayo yiteguye kugufasha 
upfa kuyigeza ikifuzo cyuko ushaka gucukubira n'ubukode maze ukajya gutura mu mududu urukumbuzi iyo estate na ukeneye kugira inzu yawe ugatandukana no guhora mu bukode ugira ngo zirahenze se dekada ushaka ibindi bisobanuro duhamagare kuri telefone ngendanwa 0708 3338 Welcome back. After this short break of advertisement, let's come back and learn about the, some of the technologies that she has been using, especially during this COVID, to help her to keep delivering the services that she has been delivering in Agasaro fashion. So tell us about some of the technologies you're using, because here in the Young Founders Voices, we talk also about technologies so that we learn from each other. You know, like uh, social media, like uh, the trending tech, artificial intelligence. I don't know the technology you use <laughs> in your business, but I believe there are some of uh, technology which has been helping you, especially lately in the COVID. Day. Yeah, so you know there are, um COVID is a crucial challenge that we all entrepreneurs are facing with yeah. in these days. So I'm trying, uh, um, I'm looking forward to use like um, host online fashion shows using like Instagram pages, yeah. using like YouTube channels. So I think that may be helpful. Yeah. yeah. So tell us your experience with YouTube, if you are very familiar with the YouTube. So not really <laughs> i'm not really very familiar with youtube but i can say that uh you need yeah, you just have to use like a youtube which, ha which has more like many number of subscribers so that to get the visibility yeah that's so. so you are planning to uh, to work with yeah. the youtube channels yeah. Uh, yeah. so that you host it so that they publish some yeah. of your events yeah, planning to work with them yeah. yeah those who have like um you know youtube channel with many subscribers so that's to work so that to like help in my event so that to like um host an event but expecting many visibilities okay so guys if i can tell you a bit about youtube youtube it's uh it's one of the product of gmail so the owners of google and gmail owns youtube as well so when you open a gmail account you have a youtube channel and the way youtube channel works uh as long as you haven't used it yet, which means uploading any video, it's just there. You can subscribe to other people's channel, but you, but yours, it's not really active. And the way YouTube work, you have to create or to make a video, then upload the video on your YouTube channel. And once that is done, you have to share your, your videos to your friends, to your family, to everyone. And you have to ask people to subscribe to your channel, to like, to share, to comment, to do the same so that you can increase increase the tracking so you hear that she's going to work with the one of those best youtube channel if you're out there you have like a good youtube channel you think she can be a partner please ask us her number <laughs> we are happy to connect you are happy to get you guys connected again thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for participating in the young found in the young founders voices and uh, thank you so much for sharing with us your journey, you know, like uh, the role that education is playing in your business. And I hope for a lot of you, you also hear what she says. You hear that there is a way you can balance both education and business. Don't just go to school and come back and hang in front of the TV watching a movie. And don't just like uh, tell yourself that you can't do it, you know, like uh, you're running out of time. You can do it because if she's doing it, you can also do it so i believe there are there are so much you guys you have learned from her and there are also so many <laughs> things i've learned from you and i'm so happy to have that you joined us mm. and uh, again this is the young founders voices i hope you enjoy our talks and our conversation today i hope there are so much things you have learned especially in business in the way that uh, leadership and uh, education from leadership and business work together and i hope that there is different things you can also learn from 
Michelle Obama or maybe from YouTube because there are also many things I've been learning from YouTube and uh, this is the Young Founders Voices. We will see you again.